Hi there. Thank you so much for joining me today. This is Julie DiMatteo from thepaperpixie.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the U.S. And in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make this really cute Tic Tac slider box. It's sized to fit a regular size box of Tic Tac mints or Tic Tacs gum. Let me show you they both have the same size box. I'm going to do a Christmas version in this video tutorial, but earlier on my blog I shared this cute Halloween version using the orange Tic Tac mints. This is a really quick and easy project to put together and you can change it up for so many different occasions. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to start with a piece of Coastal Cabana cardstock that measures just a little bit less than 2 inches by 9 inches. If you cut it just a hair less than 2 inches then it's going to fit in the delightful tag topper punch much easier. Now along the 9 inch side we're going to go ahead and score this at 1 inch. one and five sixteenths, which is one tick mark past one and a quarter, and four and three sixteenths, which is one tick mark before four and a quarter. Then I'm going to turn this 180 and we're going to do the same three score lines again. So one inch, one and five sixteenths, again one tick mark past one and a quarter, and four and three sixteenths, which is one tick mark before four and a quarter. There's no template to show you today because this is a pretty simple scoring project. I'm gonna bring in the delightful tag topper punch, and there are three channels in here for one inch, one and a half inch, and two inches. And if you did cut your strip just less than two inches, it's gonna perfectly fit in that two inch channel. Now I like to flip this over and make sure that my cardstock's pushed all the way up to the end before I punch. And we're going to do that to both ends. I just love the look of that delightful tag topper punch. Now I'm going to go ahead and fold and burnish on all the score lines. And the score lines that are the closest to the scallop tag topper, we're going to actually fold the opposite direction. That's just the way it's going to fold for the box to go together. And I think you can see how this is going to start to form. Now we did the sixteenth of an inch increments so that the Tic Tac box would fit snugly in here and not fall out. Next I've got two pieces of the Let It Snow Specialty Designer Series paper that measure one and seven eighths by two and three quarters inches. And those are just going to fit right here on these larger panels. I'm going to glue those down with multi-purpose liquid glue. Okay, now we can put our box together. I actually like to do this with tear and tape adhesive. I'm going to run that just above that top score line. You could do this with liquid glue as well, but I like the tear and tape. If you have any tear and tape hanging over the edge, just going to fold that excess over itself. And then we're just going to meet these two ends together here. And I'm just going to take my time because the tear and tape, once it's stuck down, it's stuck down for good. So again, I'm just lining up all those little scallops together. And then what you can do is come in and just reinforce that adhesive because again, this is going to be a snug fit. We don't want that tear and tape to come loose. So I just like to burnish it a little bit like so. I grab my box of Tic Tac gum here and you want to be gentle getting it in here. It's like I said a snug fit but it will fit just like that. Let's see those aren't going to fall out. I love that fit. Now let's do a little bit of decorating. I'm going to start with the stamping first. We're going to be using the Snowman Season stamp set which comes from the Snowman Season bundle. That bundle comes paired with the Snowman Builder Punch and we'll be using that in just a minute. I'm going to stamp the sentiment Let It Snow in shaded spruce onto Whisper White. We're going to punch that out with the one and a half inch circle punch. And then I've pre-cut from Real Red cardstock a scallop circle from the Layering Circles Framelits. We're just going to layer those two together using liquid glue. And then I'm going to glue that to the back side of our box. There we go, like so. Now on the front side we're going to have some fun with the snowman builder punch. Now obviously with the stamp set we could stamp the snowman, color them in, leave them black, do all types of things with that. 
but you already know that. So I just want to show you with the specialty designer series paper, which it's specialty because it has this really beautiful glitter effect to it. That snowman builder punch is actually going to fit around some of the snowmen in the paper. So we're going to go ahead and take a little shortcut here, punch out a snowman. How cute is he? I love that. Already colored with the glittery effect. I'm going to first go ahead and glue him down with liquid glue. No need to use dimensionals here because he's already going to have quite a bit of dimension, you'll see. And using soft suede cardstock, I'm going to go ahead and punch out two little arms for him. Glue these guys down with liquid glue. Just a little bit goes a long way here. Oh, he's looking so cute already. Then we've got this really cool Let It Snow embellishment kit. This comes with some really cool glitter washi, some enamel shapes to build our snowmen, some little styrofoam snowballs there, and then these really cute felt shapes. So let's go ahead. I'm going to grab a green scarf, a little red cap, and we'll give this guy a little bit more dimension here. Now I used glue dots before. I've also used liquid glue. I liked the liquid glue and how well it stuck down after it dried. So I'm gonna use that this time. Just gonna put his little red cap on here. I love that these felt embellishments already have a little bit of stitching on them. This cute little scarf. You're gonna wanna let this dry. And while that's drying, we're going to finish off this little tic-tac slider. I'm going to use the real red cotton ribbon. It's 3 eighths of an inch and we're going to tie a bow through this delightful tag topper. There we have our cute little tic-tac slider box. I love how it turned out with the Tic Tacs gum. Again, here's the Halloween version. Super quick and easy project to make. You can get four of these out of one sheet of eight and a half by 11 cardstock, and it's a super fun project to do. So thank you so much for joining me. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss my next video. If you're interested in purchasing any of the Stampin' Up! products I used today, they'll be linked in the description. And I'll also include a link to my detailed blog post with all project measurements, details, and a picture of the template. I'd love to have you come visit me at thepaperpixie.com where I post projects every weekday to inspire you. I have options to subscribe to both my monthly newsletter as well as my daily blog updates and I'd love to welcome you as a new subscriber. You can shop with me anytime at thepaperpixie.com shop. And if you're interested in a discount on your Stampin' Up! purchases, the starter kit is the ultimate bundle and I'd love to have you join my team of Paper Pixies. You can purchase the starter kit at thepaperpixie.com slash join. If you don't already have a demonstrator and you'd like a complimentary copy of one of our catalogs, you can submit a catalog request at thepaperpixie.com slash catalogs. If you give this fun project a try, I'd love to see what you made, so feel free to share it on social media with the hashtag paperpixie, and I'll be sure to check it out. Thanks again for watching. I hope you have a wonderful and blessed day. Take care. Bye.